Hi everyone, we're excited that you are going to become freshmen at Chesapeake College in the fall. You are making a great decision and we wanted to tell you everything you should know about our fall classes. What pathway should I choose? Chesapeake College has so many credit and non-credit programs for you. You can find all of that on our website, www.chesapeake.edu academics and programs, and then click on our course catalog. You, we have advisors that can help you identify a program, explore different career paths that you'd like to take, and develop a plan to meet your goals. You can earn certifications and college credits. We have eight distinct career paths, so whatever you would like to do, I'm sure Chesapeake has that option for you. What are my options? So some things that you want to be thinking about before you email an advisor this summer is whether you want to go full time or part time. You want to think about if you're going to be working while you're going to school. Hopefully your boss is going to be flexible with your schedule. Ideally, you would like to go full time so you were able to complete your degree or certificate as soon as possible. And then if you were wanting to transfer to a university, you could do that. Um, by going full-time also. All of our classes for the fall are going to be online. We are going to have some accelerated options, so it just depends on what you would like to do, and our advisors can help you with that, and you're going to be able to see our fall schedule on our website, which is www.chesapeake.edu, and in the top right corner, you will see Search for Courses, and you want to click Fall 2020. And that will give you a list of all of our classes. But for a reminder, because of the coronavirus, we are having our fall classes. They will be online this semester, but we have lots of tutoring and assistance to help you be successful. If you are looking to transfer, you're making a smart decision to get all of your general education classes out of the way through Chesapeake, we have the same classes all the other universities have, but at a much cheaper um, tuition cost. But if you do wanna transfer, we have a transfer advisor that will be working with you as soon as you know where you want to transfer after Chesapeake. The earlier you know that, the better it will be because our transfer advisor can work with you to work backwards and make sure you're only taking those classes that you need. All Maryland state schools will accept our credits. And like I said, you do want to meet with our transfer advisor to determine the course requirements needed for your specific bachelor degree. If you are wanting to go to a private school or an out of state school, you just want to check with that school to make sure that they will accept our credits. But the majority of them do. You just want to reach out to their registration office as soon as possible. How much does it cost? So one college class, for example, English 101 or Communications 101, those are classes that all of our credit students will need. One college class at Chesapeake costs $505 per class. Now, if you were taking that same English 101 or Communications class at Salisbury or Towson or any of our state schools, it would be about double the cost. If you were wanting to go to a private school or the out-of-state schools like we mentioned, it would be anywhere from $4,800 to $6,000 just for one class. Now that also includes room and board, but every class you can get out of the way now at Chesapeake, you are going to be saving so much money in the future. How do I pay? Hopefully by now you have all completed the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. That information was given to you by your counselors. We had our financial aid team come out to each high school to give information to parents and students. So if you have questions about that, please reach out to our financial aid department. You can email them now at finaid at chesapeake.edu. There are, there are also so many scholarships that are available. Hopefully, as seniors at your high school, you applied for every scholarship out there. You want to take advantage of that. But for each of our students, we do have payment plans that are available. Here at Chesapeake College, we offer three men's sports teams and three women's sports teams. If you are interested in playing intercollegiate athletics, please go to our website, www.chesapeake.edu, and click on athletics, and then click on the sport you want, and you can find your coach's information. 
Due to the pandemic, we do not know what sports will look like for the upcoming school year, but it cannot hurt to reach out to our coaches so that you can be the first to find out once we all know. Chesapeake College has an awesome honors program. It is a great way for you to get an extra notation on your transcript and to potentially qualify for additional scholarships at other schools if you're transferring. So in order to be um, in honors classes, you have to have a 3.0 or higher GPA, and you just pick your classes and go from there. If you're looking at it for an honors class and we don't offer a section for that subject, so Communications 101 Honors, if we're not offering an honors section for the fall, you can work with the professor and do an honors contract for any class. It makes the projects a little bit different. Rather than being more test-based, you can do more kind of internship sort of things. We have had students um, watch uh, live births down at the hospital at Easton. We have had students work um, and watch embalming at the mortuary because that's what they were interested in rather than writing a research paper. So there's a lot of opportunities there. Um, you can earn transfer and scholarship opportunities. You can potentially get into the Honors Society. Um, you do get smaller class sizes and you do get um, trips and the Honors Lounge and other special events on campus. It's a really great opportunity and it really looks great on your transcript if you are thinking of transferring to a four-year school. So next steps. Hopefully you have completed our application. If you've done dual enrollment in the past, you do not need to reapply. If you are a completely new student, you will need to fill out the application. If you um, do not have a social security number, you have to fill out a PDF version and email it or mail it in. If you do have a social security number, you can simply fill out the form online and hit submit. The next step is to do the FAFSA. Hopefully you've already done that. The deadline for that was March 1. However, don't panic if you haven't done it. It's okay. If you are like some students and you were planning to go to a four-year school, but due to the ongoing pandemic, you're no longer attending a four-year institution, you can simply go into your FAFSA that you've already completed and add Chesapeake on to that FAFSA. Then the information will be sent directly to us and we can start doing financial aid from there. The other thing is our scholarship application. You need to fill that out. It is on our website. Also apply for any scholarships out in the community that you see listed. Um, anything helps, even if it just covers the cost of a couple books, it makes a big difference. Once you have completed these three steps, we'd like you to take a peek at our fall schedule online, which if you go to the website and you go to the upper right corner, there's a search for courses link. Once there, pick fall 2020 and it will list all of the classes that we are offering this fall. Reminder, they are all online at this time. Once you've looked over the classes and have an idea of what you'd like to take, email advising at chesapeake.edu and we can get back to you to help you get started with registering for classes. If you're totally lost and you have no idea what class you want to take, that's perfectly fine. Email us at advising and we'll tell you some of the steps to take to figure out what might be best for you. Thank you so much for your time and we hope to see you soon on campus.